the negative things happening in the news, I feel like the world could use a little more positivity. So right now, I'm going to cheer some people up who've been having a hard time with gift baskets. <laughs> Our first gift basket tonight goes to none other than Takashi69. <laughs> you're already laughing, and you're correct to do so. <laughs> You may have heard that Takashi pled guilty to nine charges earlier this year and recently testified against some of his accomplices in order to reduce his pending jail time. Ouch! What a year! Don't worry, Takashi, baby. I got some stuff that will cheer you right up. In your basket, you will find a golden snitch. <laughs> Now, if you aren't familiar, the Golden Snitch is from a game in Harry Potter, and they're the smallest balls in the game. <laughs> so basically the same size as yours. <laughs> Next, here's a bottle of black hair dye. I can't do anything about the tattoos on your face, but this will help you look like less of a clown while you keep acting like one. <laughs> and finally, I heard you recently snagged a $10 million album deal from prison. So, I put together a list of artists who are down to collab once you get out. Oh, just kidding, it's empty. Oh. Enjoy your basket, Takashi! Enjoy! Enjoy! Oh. Our next gift basket is for Todd Phillips. Todd Phillips, the director of The Joker, has been getting a lot of backlash for the violence depicted in his movie and, more recently, for whining that comedy is dead thanks to woke culture. Well, Todd, have I got a gift basket for you, my friend. <laughs> First, here are some comedies you can enjoy. Bridesmaids, Fleabag, Insecure. Not only are these made in the woke era, but they're funny. And get this. <laughs> Women play characters that aren't strippers, or nagging wives, or super hot chicks that sleep with Ed Helms, even though Bradley Cooper's right there. Come on, be realistic. <laughs> Next, since you clearly love living in the past, I burnt you a CD. Aww. It's full of all kinds of different music. I mean, you and I may disagree about the current state of comedy, but there's one thing I know we can agree on. We would never use a pedophile's music in our movies. Oh, wait, you did that! Gary Glitter? At least use a song by an alleged pedophile, not a convicted one. You want a smooth criminal, not an actual criminal. <laughs> Finally, here's a framed copy of the Rotten Tomato score for your movie, School of Scoundrels. <laughs> Your score is a whopping 26%, and this movie came out in 2006. So it turns out you couldn't write comedy in the pre-woke era either. Enjoy your basket, Todd Phillips. <laughs> Our next gift basket is for none other than Matt Lauer. Yeah. If you haven't heard, Matt Lauer was fired from this network after several allegations came out accusing the former news anchor of sexual assault, which he denies all of the claims. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you ready for your gift basket, Matt? Let's do it. <clears throat> First off, here's a bottle of Jergens. <laughs> because the only thing that will be getting you off anytime soon is your own hand. <laughs> and yes, I got the travel size because I can't imagine your tiny penis would need any more than that. <laughs> Next, here's a button. It's kind of like the one you allegedly had behind your desk to lock female co-workers in your office with you, except this one locks your penis in your pants. <laughs> Finally, I just read your open letter where you not only refuse to take responsibility for your heinous actions, but you also blame your victims. Yeah, plural, victims for your bad behavior. Incredible. Well, Matt, Matty boy, since you love letters so much, I got you too. Let's open up the first one. Oh, this is just an F. It's this next one here. Uh, would you look at that? It's an F you enjoy your basket, Matt. That was gift baskets, everybody.